गुड इवनिंग हाय शोभा वेलकम हाय वेंकटेश श्री गौरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू जय श्री नारायण एंड क्रिएशन ओके लेट अस बिगिन द सेशन जय श्री नारायण क्रिएशन वेलकम्स यू ऑल फॉर द लाइव सेशन In today's session, we'll be doing a watercolor effect on canvas, creating a special rangoli for Ona. So, wish you all a happy Ona. So, this is what we did yesterday, and uh, since I could not complete the chain adding to it today i have completed and i am sharing it with you all so here i have given a varnish coat those who don't have varnish and who have a uh, fevical mod podge you can give three coats on top of it here i have given two coats of varnish the clear varnish which is available in the nearby uh, hardware shop okay so you can use this kind of varnish also and uh, if it is uh, somewhat to do with the white base color then please do not uh, use the clear varnish available in the market because it will turn yellowish after some time but since we have take, <coughs> taken the color combination is <coughs> yellow and orange and all dark colors not related to white so i am uh, happy with the uh, varnish so i have given the varnish coat on top okay so this is the one the work which we did yesterday the clay pendant for odam taken a typical odam motif sorry uh, kerala mural motif and done on the clay at the back i have covered it with a gold paper so the back side is also sealed completely and now it is ready to wear <coughs> sorry <coughs> one second please excuse me. okay so i would recommend a um, fevical mod podge also to give a sealing coat on top this is over for to uh, i mean to begin with then next we move on to the uh, the routine one that is uh, before i always start the session i would like to give some credit and uh, appreciation to the persons who have completed the work <coughs> and shared it to me so who else is a joint just a minute let me go back and uh, okay now this is the pendant what we did yesterday created by vasanti krishna she has created the pendant and she has even shared it to me uh as it itself it was shared to me very kind of her to create and share it to me on time okay hats off to you keep creating and enjoy the session thanks thank you vasanti and then we have uh, vasanti maps <coughs> sorry that was gayatri krishna or vasanti krishna just a minute sorry this is gayatri krishna's work not vasanti's this is gayatri krishna's work is yes, yesterday's mural pendant and then we have vasanti ma'am's work also okay congratulations hats off to you for your lovely creation and the share also thank you so much keep keep creating now we will get back to our session so in today's session it's going to be as i told you it's the watercolor rangoli watercolor effect rangoli on canvas for ona okay Where did mine go? Yes, I got it. Fine. Hi, Preeti. Hi, Charu. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. 
so that was uh, the appreciation and the credit have given to the persons who have done the work and submitted not submission actually i should say uh, there was no compulsion for the submission but in spite of that they have joined the session have created a beautiful piece for them and they have shared the piece also now for today's session it's going to be like uh, as i told you it's a watercolor so i have taken the uh, cake board the base board for the work and then take a canvas sheet then cut 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 the exact shape of the bow and then you paste it using fevicol and then after um, preparing the bow just try to draw the design i don't have the uh, ready made design i did it on the board directly so i don't have a template and those who want to follow the same picture please do take a screenshot of it of this because i don't have the template as normally i do share the picture right here i don't have so please do a um, screenshot i just leave it down you can take a screenshot hi priya good evening hi mani meghalay welcome yes the pendant was indeed a beautiful one and we created yesterday and to, people have started doing it also and they've shared also hats off to the creators okay and now uh, after the design is done i mean drawn on the compose and drawn on the uh, you can use the canvas uh, circular board also for that matter okay or a square piece you can take or a rectangular one you can take accordingly you can create the rangoli pattern on it here i have taken a circular base so i have stuck the canvas board sheet on top of it using fevicol then do the design on it then after drawing the design you have to outline the entire design with a triple zero brush with black loaded with black okay so now i have not completed fully let me complete the black outline first for the black outline let us go with the acrylic colors the fevicol so let me take black from this and apart from this uh, the other materials we need for today's session will be the pastel shades also so both acrylic as well as pastel shades we need for the creation okay then brush of course goes without saying whatever brush you have you are comfortable with you can just use those brushes hi shalini good evening and welcome so whatever details you want to do it on the um, design the rangoli pattern say for example this is going to be these are the leaves arranged by the around the center pattern okay so for the leaves i would like to do the uh, the veins done earlier before the coloring so you can also do it and similarly here for the uh, center flower i have not done anything everything will be shown with the coloring and uh, here i will make some pattern okay we will do that also hi anandavalli good evening good evening welcome so use a triple zero brush load the brush with the color draw the center line for the leaf and then the side veins make it as thin as possible don't make it too thick and dark a thin line would do just like this you need to do it for all the leaves i have done few leaves i'm just showing you how it is to be done on two leaves these are acrylic colors after drawing the detailing with the black just leave it to dry for an hour or so because uh, we will be uh, <clears throat> don't do it immediately because it's going to be a watercolor effect 
so just do the detailing the main outlining everything with the black and leave it for an hour and then start with the coloring now here towards this um, base a parallel curve will be fine So when we talk about ornament flower arrangements is the most important thing and they do it in a grand way. So here also it is going to be a floral pattern which we will color it with the um, acrylic colors as well as the pastel shades. Okay. Done. Now we will start the main coloring. So for the main cutting, let us start from the center. So for the center, I need few other shades also. Say for example, I will uh, I need uh, this thing, turquoise blue. Then turquoise blue. I need golden yellow and orange. I need uh, instead of greenery, I'm going to use the uh, mint green. Okay from pastel shades because it works out very well and the color is so nice and uh, uh, especially it slides to the surface on the um, canvas it is so good now we will start from the center now as i told you it is going to be an watercolor effect so you need a little uh, thicker brush for outlining it is triple zero and for the filling and other stuff you can use number one or three Take clear water and then you transfer the colors first on the palette. Now I need yellow and orange for the main flower. So let me try very little of color only you need. So with less colors the more uh, grandiose look you are going to get for the rangoli. Hi Samyukta, good evening. Hi Lakshmi ma'am, very good evening. Okay, now and apart from this, we also need one or two earbuds. Now let us begin the session. Now I will do the petals first, the flower. So just take a drop of water in the brush. Apply on the canvas just for one petal alone. Do one by one. Apply the water and then can you see the color if I place it here? Yeah okay now sorry just take very less of yellow very very uh, diluted just apply from the top that is from the center of the portion apply the color like this as light as possible don't bring it to the tip just half of it should be colored with yellow here I have taken golden yellow just apply and then use a bud in case if you go beyond say for example uh, two thirds or touching near the outline you can always wipe it off with the bud if not also you should use the bud to clean the board just wipe it off like this push the color to the inner and then take some more 
yellow again just apply over here make it as light as possible towards the top you apply the yellow and leave it as it is then we will move on to the uh, we will move on to the next uh, petal just apply water thoroughly on the petal shape thing then take yellow just apply the color for half of the petal not fully don't go beyond half just half okay then if there is anything extra which is pushed downwards you can always remove it with the bud done Charu, it will be available. You can watch any time. Since it's a live show, uh, I will upload it immediately. Even the earlier ones are also available. You can watch at your leisure time. Just apply there. Spread it. While spreading, definitely it will cross the middle so afterwards you can because it should not be like uh, you, there should not be any differentiation like uh, the demarcation should not be there that white and the yellow portion it has to be in uh, uh, gradation so to have that perfect effect you need to remove the excess with the bud not with the brush but with the bud then apply the color sorry apply water Take the lighter, here I am using um, golden yellow, just try to apply, then spread it. This fine effect you will not get it when you mix it with water, okay, when you may, uh, dilute it with water and when you apply on the canvas board, this effect you will definitely not get it. That is why I am doing it in a watercolor technique, applying the water first and then adding the color on top of it, then uh, spreading it over there. Understand? Then the next one. The water should be clean and clear. What you are applying on the canvas should be clean and clear. off then spread it little bit down towards the down so I'm just pushing it to the top with the butt and clean the butt every time after doing like this okay then the next step just apply water take a low color We have two more petals we will do that also just apply the color we normally do the watercolor on um, the handmade paper and a special watercolor paper but here we are doing it on the canvas so we get the same effect here with uh, more of water added to the canvas applied on the canvas and then the color added onto it okay Now here it is perfect, so I am not going to use the bud. This is perfect. Then the final petal here, for the first set of petals, I am doing the last one. Just apply. Okay. Now, the next step is to apply the same color towards the tip alone just see 
where we started first just apply very less of the same color you finish off all the petals and then start this work and then the third step you need to continue so it will be white the lightest then the lighter color and you have a little darker of the yellow itself this is center of the flower so towards the center of the flower make it little darker not too dark make it very add little uh, very less of paint towards the top if you feel it's more in the brush then wipe it off and apply less color over there okay now we have completed the second step first step is we applied water then the color on top then smudge we started to blend the color okay with water at the bottom uh, samyukta the base is a cake board on the cake board i have fixed a, i mean uh, pasted a canvas sheet now what to do is the final step to complete the first set of petals will be take the darker color that is the orange i have taken here dilute it to the maximum just see how i am diluting it taking very less of the paint and adding more of water to it then apply the color very close to the center very very close to the center just apply the color wipe it off and then just spread it it's not blending because the other uh, the color earlier color is almost dry we are just applying the diluted color on top wipe it off making it the uh, color little darker so this denotes the sunflower in the center normally they keep for the rangoli you they use lot of uh, sunflower now first set of petals are almost getting over then we will move on to the next gap between the petals okay what you find between the petals over here now for this gap i need the pastel shades which is a new product so easily available in the market you can source for this and let me take pastel green or blue so here i have the mint green okay i'm going to use this color now how are, how am i going to use these pastel shades are just see take a small quantity of the shades it is not direct application from the container take the color dilute it first just dilute it keep it ready because as i told you this is a watercolor effect right so you need to dilute the color and keep it ready then as usual like how we did the center petal take water and apply on the canvas that is in between the petals you have a small portion apply water first then take the diluted mint green the pastel shade just 
just apply three fourths, not fully, but three fourths. Okay. This will be too light to begin with. I'll show you what is to be done in the next step. Apply water. Then on top of it, add the diluted mint bean to two thirds of the portion. It will be light, very light. Because pastel colors are as, as it is, they are very light. So now we are diluting it separately. Then on the water, again we are adding the diluted paint. Automatically the color is very, very dull and very light. Okay. Just push it to two thirds. You, can, you don't do it with the diluted paint on the canvas. Then the effect will not be there. Apply water on the canvas and then add the colors. Here it is the pastel color diluted and then now I am adding it. Whereas for the earlier one it is <coughs> it is the water applied first and then the color on top. Okay. Any doubt? Just from the base you start and fill only two thirds of the pattern these pastel shades are really good you can work on different mediums I mean the base in fact like on paper on fabric then on clay and on bottles canvas which we are doing right now now I have applied um, mint I did not I have done the other one also okay we have applied the green color that is a mint green the pastel shade diluted with water now the next step is to take sap green take it in the palette So when we talk about the poo column, uh, flower arrangement, normally the color of the leaves will be this, right? So I am using the same sap green and not any other color. There are so many greens, of course you get it, but I am using only the sap green. So from the bottom, just apply a small portion of it. First the color, then wipe the brush, slowly spread it, just the diluted green and spread it, okay. Then to the next gap, the same way, a small portion, don't take it to the uh, center, just halfway through. This is two thirds and in that half you can use sap green. This is also again diluted sap green. it and I wish everyone could do it so pleasant the colors are such lovely colors now we have done with the second color thank
Thank you, Sri Gauri. Okay. Now we will move on to the next set of petals. So here we need pink. We need pink and we need crimson red. Okay. So now let me transfer the color pink color on the palette. Just add few drops and keep it ready. Okay, and then you need red also. Take red, a small portion, keep it ready. That is also diluted. Now coming to the next portion, add water, clean water, then one second, pencil mark when I do the design, the pencil marks are all there, you can rub it off actually. I drew it with a pencil directly on the canvas board. That's why I told you to take a screenshot because I don't have the template. I forgot to rub it off. Okay, done. So now, where did I apply the water? Yeah, it's here. Just take a drop, apply water. And then take pink color which we have we are ready on the uh, made it uh, get it ready on the palette diluted also so which, yeah, this one. now what you do is start from here apply the color just half of it done okay then the next one wipe it off and spread it just you can do like this also to get a perfect effect okay Then the next one, just take the color, this is diluted pink, I am applying, just apply the color, make it as light as possible, then the next two petals, So, done. Okay. This, this is how you have to do the rest. Now we have taken uh, crimson red also on the palette. So we will take crimson red. Load it. This is also once again diluted. Just a small portion. I'll start from the first. Very small portion should be done. Wipe it off. And slowly you spread the color. I will just show it closer. You can have a closer 
I look also just I have added crimson to it okay it was water applied first then the pink diluted applied secondly and thirdly on top of the pink I have added crimson red okay same way for all the other petals also you need to do whatever we have done right now I will complete then we will move on to the next the big leaves around it not too deep to the uh, I mean uh, to the bottom just halfway through we have to stop just apply for one third of the portions and then spread the color that's enough okay so now the say next row of petals is over the final thing is for the uh, big leaves now here we need yellow green and red three colors we need so i already have yellow here i have red now i have to take green so let me take a drop of green in the palette yes this is here we are going to add three colors to the leaves just a minute i uh, take Hello. One second. I'll take a clear water. Because that got dirty, so I thought. Okay, fine. Now I am ready with the uh, water. Now see. Okay, now let me start with the next step. We have both the cups of water. The first one is to apply water here. Take a draw. Don't use <coughs> fine marker pen and all, it will get smudged, it will mess up. So use only the acrylic color for all these black lines. Okay, apply the color first. Then you need three colors, green, sap green, yellow, any yellow, lemon yellow or golden yellow or chrome yellow, any one of these yellows you can use and the crimson. So keep all the colors ready, add two drops of water to it. Keep them ready now. Now towards the top, it's like a tender leaves. Okay, so you must have seen mango leaves and all, which has a uh, somewhat that um, uh, reddish uh, tinge at the bottom towards the tip. Okay, the same way we are going to give over here. Now take green color, diluted green. Apply for just one third of the leaf. Just one third you need to apply. Done. Now just wipe the brush. Take the diluted yellow. Diluted yellow. Load it in the brush. Apply for the middle portion. Okay. And then slowly you push it to the top. Blend it here. Blending is done. Do little bit of blending with the green. Okay. Little bit of blending with the green done. Green is towards the top. Now to the bottom. Bottom the tip most portion should be 
light reddish in color so just take the diluted red just give it over here first you apply the color wash the brush and then no need to blend it but just spread it make it as light as possible you need not have to blend it just spread it okay just give little time for the red color to set then add some more red towards the tip very less of red the bottom most portion should have a little darker color so add over here alone that's it fine okay i'll i'll do one more leaf also just apply the color i'm sorry water first on the canvas then sap green towards the top just apply the color first green color for one third of the portion of the leaf then take yellow once again diluted yellow for the middle of the leaf and little bit of blending is done the yellow and green okay so very less of blending is done okay then finally towards the tip it is diluted crimson you can even have coral red also that also will look good to see the leaf and to stood give time for the colors to set and then you will find the difference because this is not yet dry later on when it set you will get a bright look and uh, the color is really good okay now to the center apply water take the koi's blue dilute it little bit apply it towards the outer okay of the circle don't put it in the center just towards the outer apply the color wipe the wash the brush wipe it and spread that okay now here in the center apply water we will use orange color here understand now the water is applied take orange we already have in the palette dilute it see how less the paints or quantity we use
where you apply the color first then slowly move the color to the outer wash the brush and make it very very light take it to the corner there is already water in the portion the patch okay just take it around so you have a darker color towards the center and a lighter towards the outer just apply take some more orange the rotatory movement and then spread the demarcation should not be there okay done it will be now we will come to the all over here now on this first we have given pastel green that is the mint green then on top of it we have given olive i mean the sap green okay dial both diluted now to enhance the flower these are all the base portions of the flower so we need once again the same uh, sap green load the brush with sap green not too diluted just 1 is to 1 ratio hi manjula good evening now close to the black line make a marking over here with a dark green dark in the sense uh, not diluted but like how we mix the color now one is to one same way like a border for the okay. only towards the sides not for the bottom portion okay just to enhance the flower and give a relief to the flower now we have done my goodness the bursting crackers that okay so this is the next step for the center portion in the stools now coming to the outer you have small patches you have 1 2 and 3 okay now we will use the pastel shades so here the pastel shades what i will use here is aqua blue take aqua blue once again it is not the direct application you need to dilute it first just dilute it in between the leaves you apply the color sorry sorry i'm so sorry uh, i did not apply water let me just take it out so easy way of removing the color okay now you need to apply what water very sorry even for the base also leave up the outermost portion for these two portions apply water first then diluted aqua blue from the pastel shades see how it spreads on its own apply the color fully first fully okay then now before the color dries we are going to learn a uh, blending effect so take 
turquoise blue we already have it here because we have used turquoise blue in the center so same turquoise blue you use here for the patch at the bottom give a slight touch it will blend on its own because the color is not yet the base color is not yet dry so it will then again little more to the top more to the upper portion apply the color just one third okay here for the bottom it's just the a portion of it a small portion of it leaving the uh, uh, the aqua blue diluted one as it is now for the top portion it is to a small portion you have to apply what may say for example one third and then with the brush you just blend it just blend it. that's it okay understood then move on to the next water first then the diluted aqua blue just apply over there spread it thoroughly and fully for the patch then take turquoise blue you can use cerulean blue also no issues here i have taken turquoise blue okay this is also diluted once again it is a small portion towards the outer and one third towards the top portion just once or twice or thrice like this is start spreading the color and here to the top take it to one third of the portion wash the brush wipe it and then you blend it very gently you blend it with the base Thank you, Manju. Thank you so much. Okay, so it will be like this. Now you have gaps here. These gaps are towards the outermost uh, circle. So we need to make it little more bright also, when compared to all the other colors. So you can either directly use crimson red or direct orange over here. So now we will use crimson red. Okay, don't add black and other colors. Use only crimson red or orange. not even brown also take or oh, this is pink take crimson red it is just direct application no watercolor effect just the filling so this will give a beautiful finished look for the piece don't put dots don't add mirrors nothing of that sort let it be as it is and um, canvas rangoli giving a watercolor effect using the pastel shades and the regular acrylic colors that's it okay i will show you the finished article 
it's a little bigger one not too big but a very uh, not uh, very big a little uh, bigger than this you can attach a stand to it and make it as a puja uh, frame also or you can take it to the wall or you can place it on the center table thank you anandi happy morning to you all and this is same way here also you have gaps all these places let us go with crimson or alternate crimson and orange don't hide the um, black line okay make sure that the black lines are seen so use a uh, small size number 000 for these small gaps especially when you do the filling done so this is how it has to be no 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 where exactly manju no need of outlining with little darker shade like you did with sapphire where exactly you want to do the shading which portion you are uh, not uh, thorough with here uh, for this hi nagukumari good evening see for this we have given on the uh, lighter pastel shade we have given this diluted sap green and then for the border it is direct sap green. very one is to one ratio mixed water with water given it for the okay hope i am visible uh, just please mention uh, whether my video is clear and audio also any one of you please let me know whether i am live or there fine fine now okay good yeah because it was on data i didn't know about it so i have switched over to wifi fine fine so this is the work we have done today in the class i will show you the finished article just a minute <coughs> this is the one i have done a little bigger one thank you anandi thank you so much thank you lakshmi ma'am so this is the one okay here what i have done is at the bottom of it i told you i need to uh, you can place it on in the puja shelf also so i have attached four bottle caps here and i will color the base portion also later and at the sides i have fixed the cotton lace these are also with the same color combination what i have used here the blue orange yellow and white and green same color combination and when you see this also it looks like like water color like diluted and a darker color so i was so lucky to have that kind of lace with me and i have stuck around the sides and uh, thank you nam kumari and this is the one you can place for uh, navratri you can use it as a stand and you can place like this also hope it's clear to you 
and this is yesterday's work those who joined late you can have a look at it what we did yesterday with the molded clay and you, you could see the uh, parrots wooden parrots i have attached i had few parrots with me so i have attached the wooden parrots also understood any doubt this minute please let me know if you have any doubts this is watercolor effect we did so apply water first then dilute the paint and then add on to it and the third color a little darker also you can do in case if you want okay so no 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 mani meghalaya please don't do uh, highlight it with the golden color especially for this uh, this is a little different rangoli so let it be as it is in case if you want to add rangoli do a different kind of color combination because in the lighter uh, color combinations the thing will not be uh, gold will not be highlighted so don't do that but when you see the jewelry uh, we have the darker colors okay so i have given uh, gold but not for this rangoli i do not recommend okay any other color like darker shades of red maroon green and uh, blue uh, colors like that you can always add gold to it not for this watercolor effect rangoli especially don't do it okay so thank you so much for joining and the next session will be uh, will, uh, we will announce it soon it will be uh, something different so let us join together and create thank you all so much for joining and those who are new to the channel please do like share and subscribe and for the others a big thanks to you for all the support extended to me thank you so much have a great day and happy onam to you all once again thank you bye bye nam session la panna session la panna doda width venuma okay uh, not the width the dia when we talk about circle it is the dia okay so for the bigger one is 8.5 8.5 it's an mdf board on top of it i have pasted the canvas sheet and then did the work okay then the smaller one is it's a cake board base and the size is 6.5 one is 8.5 the other one is 6.5 thank you navkumari yes it is lovely uh, you can make thorns also like this on the canvas but when you uh, after cutting the canvas sheet uh, tends to bend so what you do is you cut the this thing template either with the cardboard or with the mdf board paste the canvas sheet and do such kinds of torrents for the navratri festival okay and small small patches also you can do uh, paste it on uh, wooden boxes wooden planks stuff like that and mini golupadi also on top of it you can do like this what a color effect you can do most welcome uh, samitha thank you so much so i will just uh, focus the camera towards the article then you will have an idea see when you do the uh, watercolor effect please do uh, use uh, pastel shades also it really works here i have used but in the bigger one also i have used the pastel shades so you can also try it is available in the market though it's a new product you get it and i i'll just push it to the side so that you can see all the three want me to show it little closer okay okay i'll just take it and show it. just see it okay though the colors are very light it looks so vibrant you can make this as a peacock feather effect these things at the sides can be done as a peacock feather effect also 
okay when we talk about kerala something uh, to do with kerala um, that alavattam is most commonly uh, a thing of kerala so that also can be done over there and of course here it is only the flower and the leaf okay for the leaf it is three colors green yellow and crimson red and here it is pastel blue that is aqua blue with the cerulean blue you can use either or uh, you can use uh, turquoise blue also and this is yesterday's work the clay pendant understood so thank you all so much take care and bye bye we'll meet you all soon again with a different mm -hmm. item bye everyone